So there are a couple of ways via which you can install the um, ESXi. So let me talk about those. So what I mean by that is, for example, if you have an HP server, okay, on that HP server, you would have a local hard drive. For example, this is a local hard drive that you have. Now, if you have to install the ESXi, what will you do? You will basically mount the ISO and you will start the installation on the hard drive. That is what you will do. So you are installing the ESXi on the local hard drive, right? That's the first way of installing it. The other can be that, for example, if you have an HP server, and then let's say if you have a big storage, okay? Now what you can do is from the storage, you can carve out a portion. For example, you carve out a small portion and let's say this is like 50 GB, okay? Now you can present this 50 GB to the ESXi and during the installation of the ESXi, you can install ESXi on this remote storage as well. So if you do not have a local hard drive on the HP server, no problem, you can install or you can present a remote storage on the ESXi how this is done, we will talk about it in the storage section. For now, just understand that if you have a remote storage, on that also you can install the ESXi. This is also supported, okay? Now, how this will help you? Or what is the use case of doing this? Let me answer this question. So for example, when you go to Google, and on Google, if you type, for example, uh, HPC 7000, okay? And if you see the images over here, this is basically called a blade server, okay? So what you see over here is basically a blade server. Similarly, you would see the blade server in Cisco UCS as well, okay? So when you go to Cisco UCS and when you go to images over here, you see that, you know, Cisco UCS also has these blade servers available, okay? So what is a blade server? Blade server is basically a kind of a server which is enclosed in a uh, you know, chassis. So if you see over here, the HPC 7000, okay, if you see this box, there is this big chassis. And then, you know, in this chassis, they have a lot of servers, you know, you see up and down, you see a lot of servers over here. This is how the back of the chassis looks like when you have a lot of fans and where you, wherein you have a lot of different modules that establish the connectivity. And then you have these got, they've got these, um, you know, physical boxes that act as a blade server. You know, this is how it basically looks like. Now, what would happen is um, how the remote storage will help you with the installation is, for example, you have this box you know, this HPC C7000 box, and let's say that you have these two blade servers over here. Now, what you do is, from your storage that you have, you basically present a volume. Let's say I carved out a volume over here, and I present this volume to this C7000 box. Now, internally, I will present this volume to the blade one, that is my server one, okay? And then here, I will install my ESXi. This is what I will do. Okay, so whenever this machine has to boot up, this will open read the files of from here, this will be the installation hard drive and you know from here it will boot up and everything would work fine. Now let's take an example that now for some reason, the first box has gone down. This has gone down, this is not available. Okay, if the other one is a spare box for you, what you can do is you can basically change the mapping. So you can now basically say that now this hard drive should be mapped over here. The connectivity which was going to server one, you will basically remove that and you will add the connectivity to the spare box that you have. You will power it on and the ESXi will boot up, okay? So the benefit is that if you have a C7000 enclosure, then a remote SAN installation helps you. Now again, it basically depends on what kind of design that you have. An environment can be designed in any way that you feel like, okay? So this is one of the examples on how you can design your remote SAN installation. Then we also have an option which is basically called auto deploy. What is auto deploy? Auto deploy basically means that for example, if you have a lot of ESXi's, okay? 
there is no local hard drive and now you want to power on the server you want to power on this hp server and there is no local hard drive there is no remote storage you know wherein you can install the esxi as well so in that scenario what you can do is that on this server on this hp server you will have a network card and this network card will have the capability to boot from the network which is called pixie network card pixie network card means that the server can boot from the network card and can basically look for the booting files now what would happen is that you can have a dhcp server over here which is connected to this switch and then you also have a tftp server okay there's this something called as a tftp server now what would happen is when this machine power on okay the network card will basically go to the dhcp server and the dhcp server will basically tell to get the iso image from the tftp server okay and then esxi end of the day to boot up it needs the booting files okay so it has the iso of the esxi over here it will basically over the network get all the files and boot up this is how an esxi installation can also work okay so these are couple of ways via which you can install the esxi but now there is a question that comes up over here that is for example you have an hp server okay on this hp server you have a local hard drive this is your local hard drive now let's take an example on this local hard drive you installed windows and you installed the linux okay and the operating system is working well there are no challenges and let's take an example the hard drive crashes the hard drive has you know ran into some corruption or it is you know somehow not working can someone tell me what would happen with the operating system will it work or will it fail come on guys what do you think yes no maybe it will fail it will fail okay anyone thinks that the operating system will continue to work it will continue to work okay shobit can you elaborate how will it work hey you can unmute you don't have to type you can unmute and you can answer if you would like to okay well this is not going to work because what would happen over here is that if the local hard drive fails the operating system is going to crash over here as well now the question is what if if i replace it and i replace it with esxi now let's take an example that on this local hard drive i installed esxi instead of windows and linux i installed esxi and now if the hard drive crashes will the esxi work or will it fail what do you guys think anyone can you call me again with this scenario the only thing that i've done now is that instead of installing windows or linux on the hard drive i have installed the esxi on the local hard drive and if the and if the local hard drive fails will the esxi work that's my query the esxi will fail esxi will fail okay anyone thinks it will work it will fail too okay well esxi will continue to work it will not fail why because if you talk about windows or if you talk about linux they need a constant access to the hard drive if they do not have hard drive the operating systems cannot work okay however esxi has been built differently why what would happen over here so when you have an hp server and when you have a local hard drive on the hp server what would happen is that you install esxi on the local hard drive okay then you reboot the server when you reboot the server esx the operating system is going to look for the booting files and it will basically read the booting files from the hard drive and then it is going to boot up the difference over here is that esxi transfers all the booting files on the ram okay esxi is less than 280 mb operating system okay it is very small operating system 
So what it will do is it will transfer all the files on the local RAM. So even though if the hard drive fails, your ESXi will continue to work. Okay. Think about it. You okay. have an HP server. Give me a minute. Okay. Think about it. You have an HP server. And on that HP server, you are running a lot of critical virtual machines. Okay. And let's take an example that you have a local hard drive which basically fails. Now, if the local hard drive fails and you lose your ESXi, that basically means that you are going to lose your four virtual machines, your four production virtual machines. The point is hypervisor cannot be that weak that it cannot even tolerate failure of a hard drive. If my hypervisor is so weak, it is so fragile that it cannot tolerate a failure of a hard drive why would you run your production virtual machines on this technology? Okay, so it is important to understand that ESXi runs on RAM. So as soon as the ESXi boots up, all the booting files that it will read from the hard drive, it will transfer to the RAM. Till the time the ESXi is up, you know, it will continue to work. When you reboot the ESXi and if the hard drive is not available,